Hi you guys, today I wanted to talk to you about sharing the gospel in a really quick and easy way with just four verses. Um, let's just get to it. So starting off, you should start with Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, this puts everyone in the same playing field. It helps everyone realize that we're all sinners and that we are not clean and we're not good people. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So we have to know because we're sinful people, it's, um, it's going to come with a penalty. We have our wages, which is death, which is hell. And at this point in sharing the gospel, whoever you're telling it to, they're going to realize where they are in life. And they're going to realize that they're in trouble. So you have to tell them the good news, the important part, which is Romans 5.8. But God demonstrates his love for us, and yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You just help them realize that they're all sinners. And you just help them realize because of their sin, they're going to hell. Now is the time where you let them know that God demonstrates his love for them, and yet while they were still sinners, Christ died for them. Meaning, it doesn't matter if they sinned shortly before talking with you. In that moment, Jesus still looked at them and said, he loves you, and he'll die for you. Now, once you get them to realize this and realize how much God loves them, you have to teach them how to apply it. Because it's not going to save them if you say, hey, Jesus loves you and he died for you. They're going to say, okay, great, and then go on living their lives. You have to teach them how to apply it, which is Romans 10, 9. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead, you will be saved. So, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. You have to help them know what that means by calling him Lord. Because they can't call him Lord and then just do whatever they want afterward. They have to say, yes, you are Lord. And when I say Lord, I will do what you say. That's what it means. And believing in your heart that God rose him from the dead, you have to believe that God has that power to save you. That only he can do that. Because no one else can raise someone from the dead. I know you can't raise someone from the dead. You have to realize God's power and realize how holy he is. That is what can help save them. It's a really quick and easy way. And um, it really works. It's what helped save me. It's what helped save my wife. And also, my younger brother, who was once an atheist. And remember, God's words are more powerful than yours ever will be. So, use it. It's never in vain. Alright guys, God loves you. Thank you so much. Bye.